Okay, y'all. This is the second of the triple upload, y'all. So, I'm going to do a full face makeup. Beat my face. I am not a professional by any means, but I like the results that I get when I do it. So, I'm going to start with... This is a foundation slash concealer. And this is pure beige, which I'm going to start with that. And then this one is a creamy beige, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to use this one as well. So I'm going to start with the pure beige foundation and concealer, y'all. Hopefully this video does not take a long time. I hope it's not a super long time, y'all. If so, then I'm going to have to speed y'all up. So, I'm going to go in and do this under eye. This is where I need it the most. Uh huh. Bags. Just to get rid of them just a little bit. Now, the other one, that uh, creamy beige, I like it. And that's the one I started with. It just has me looking paler than what I actually am. So this kind of, you know, levels me out, which I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want this to take a super long time. So I think when I first did it, it was like <laughs> probably a couple hours. Uh, that's just too long for me. I don't have that kind of time. I would have to get up super early to do this, y'all. And, I mean, as long as my hair is done and I know what I'm wearing, then it's not that bad. Okay, now y'all see the difference already from here to here. But it, it levels out. Which I like it. Now, these are just some supplies that I got from, like, the beauty supply store, y'all. And, you know, I want to, I like colors and I have different eyeshadow cases, y'all. I promise you. And uh, probably like six, but I want to do. I want to do more. I definitely want to do more, y'all, cause I like colors. I like anything bright. I appreciate it. Believe me, I do. And I am very colorful, and you know the weather's breaking and stuff now, so I'll be wearing a lot of colors. And y'all know what's weird? I, my complexion is like three different shades, y'all. And in the morning, I am like super pale. Could be related to Casper. Okay. Um, uh, super pale. Then when I'm active, I have this red color. And then when I calm down, it's like a beige color. I'm comfortable, relaxed at that point. And I don't know if y'all could tell in the beginning, before I even started this process, you can see all of those colors at one time. It's weird. But, I don't know. That's what it is. That's what it's always been. So, I don't want to go too far down, y'all, where you start getting under your neck, because right here, it's like, a beige color so I don't want to be two different shades but of course I'm gonna go in and do like um, a shade obviously just around my cheekbone cheekbone my jaw bone y'all oh you know what I forgot to do uh, it's too late now I forgot to do my oil which, you know, some people do like uh, some kind of cream or moisturizer or whatever it is that they use. That's what I forgot. Uh, whatever it is that they use. And I found out why through trial and error. Okay. Putting this stuff on and uh, at some point it would look like it was dry. You know. But I would use coconut oil. I like the result of it, which I forgot to put on. And it's sitting right in front of my face, which is crazy to me. Anywho, it's something else, y'all. Okay, do y'all see the difference already? 
Okay, I gotta move a little bit quicker than this because I am a little slow. I think I'm moving fast, but I don't know. we'll see in a minute. Okay, now that was the pure beige. Now I'm gonna do the creamy beige, y'all, which is only gonna go under my eye. Eyes, like I only have one, just for a little bit lighter effect. So we'll do that. Turn this over. It's not too dramatic, y'all, and I appreciate this. Yeah, so I didn't got then went from two hours to doing this to well, I don't know exactly where I am now, but especially when I, I'm in a rush, I have somewhere to be, blah, blah, blah. I can do it a little quicker because I know I don't have that kind of time. I would have to get up earlier, okay, and do whatever it is that I need to do. Get on out of here because this is crazy. I'm like, I'll be watching people sometimes, and I'm looking like, even if you don't see them, you know, oh, if y'all see me looking up, it's a mirror behind y'all. So, and that is that. And then, my brush, I'm going to go in here. This is a, a nude palette that I have, y'all. It's a nude palette. And each compartment tells you where the which you, uh, which one is for the lids, for the crease, for the highlight, this, that, and the third. And I appreciate it. But I need um some bigger cases with multitudes of color. Like I said, I have plenty of new stuff. I have I think one case with colors, and some of those are almost non-existent, y'all. We know which ones are my favorite because those compartments are empty okay so now i'm gonna go in here and just a little bit of tint you know so i ain't looking super pale y'all don't want to look like that just the outline of my face around the hairline y'all trying to go as quickly as possible I want it to be right. I should be a professional at this point, you know, doing this. It's weird. I've always loved makeup, but I like to see it on other people. I never really did it uh, for myself. Only thing I've ever done is eyes and eyebrows. So I always wore eyeliner or eyeshadow or both. And uh, then I would do my eyebrows, but that was it. I never went any further than that. Now, I like to see it on other people, obviously. You know, then I was like, I say, wow. Some looks are dramatic, and then other looks are, you know, too dramatic. And I don't think they should be. Now, under here. Then I'm going to do my uh, cheeks, y'all, and my eyes. So let's do eyes first. Wow, I'm already at almost nine minutes, huh? Took that long to do this. It's not a lot, but I guess I'm moving at record speed right now. <laughs> at record speed, y'all. But I guess when you do it every day, well, I've been doing it. No, ever since I started it. Probably been a couple weeks or something now. It ain't been that long. Like I said, I never did a full face, not for me. Now, I'll do somebody else's face. Just not mine. I never liked all this stuff on my face. But I like it now. Now, do I wear it every single day? If I'm not going anywhere too much, maybe to the store or something, I'm going somewhere and coming right back, then I won't do all of this. But I'm going to get dressed after this. And uh, I have to run out. 
or whatever for a minute. And then I shall return. I've done what I need to do this week. It's early and I done got it over with. Okay. It's not over though. I'm going to have to go out again. What's today? Thursday? Oh, Lord. I definitely have to go out. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't have a clue, y'all. Thought I was going to be able to sit down and chill today. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Couldn't be further from the truth, y'all. Okay. Now, I like that. Y'all probably can't see that too good. I look pale in this mirror. I mean, in the camera, but... You know, I can see it coming through in the mirror. And the mirror is dimmer than me looking at y'all. It's weird. But, anyway. Oh, I can see it now. One more time over here. These uh, makeup videos are super long. I've seen some recently, and they were like two hours long. And it's like, are you serious? I don't even know who would sit and watch something that doggone long. It's not a movie, you know. But I guess it's very um entertaining, that's for sure. Anywho, but people be doing other stuff, so I get it. I'm not judging nobody because however they do whatever it is they do, that's their business. Okay. I'm acting like I've been doing it for so long. It's not true, y'all. Okay. Now, that's that. Okay. Um, I think I'm good down here. This is moving, moving, moving super fast. Okay, that is that. Now, what do I want to do? I want to do my eyebrows. I'll purposely do them thin, y'all. So, if I want a dramatic look, I can absolutely get that. Um, so, these are thin at this point. I can never get... this. The left one is always good. It's this one that gives me the flux, y'all. I'm always having the time with this one. I know I said before, always fraternal twins, never identical. This is the problem that I have. Okay. Okay. So, bar. And then I'm going to outline them. I don't want them too dramatic or too big, y'all. I ain't going nowhere now for real. Couple runs and that's it. Let's see if it's going. They gonna cooperate for y'all. <laughs> Guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I can't look at y'all while I'm doing this. It's not gonna come out right at all. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, well, so far, so good. I'm not going to get excited. When I start getting excited about stuff, that's when it don't work out, okay? So, looking all right so far. It's always with that little point up there, though. I don't be interested in that, but I'll round it out. Okay, now that is that. I gotta fill it in. Okay, see how this is big? Um, this eyebrow, for whatever reason, is naturally bigger than the left one anyway. That's crazy to me. So then I have to exaggerate the left one just to match this one. Crazy. Y'all see? I'm going here and fill this in. Just the little spaces. Then it's going to be looking darker than what it is. That's okay. Because that's what you got concealer for, y'all. Let 
That is absolutely what concealer is for. Now, some people use, uh, you know, like the mascara brush. But it's nothing on it. I don't even know. Um, I don't know what they call that for real. I don't know if it's like a naked or a, a new mascara brush. I have no idea. Y'all know the ones that use them. I just, I couldn't tell you right off the bat. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm getting close, y'all. Getting kind of close, y'all. <laughs> now, I was always told that your end should never be lower than your beginning. So, that's all right. I think. Oh, let me brush this. Because I'm going to obviously go in here and clean this up. Whatever it is that I don't appreciate. And it's looking thick to me. So, now I'm going to go in here. And this is also a concealer, y'all. And this is what I do with this. Just to line my eyebrows right. And I think I'm just going to do a natural look. I'm not, I, I don't want to do anything dramatic yet. Um, not with the colors and stuff. So, let's go in here. And you don't want to get it on your hair. Don't get it on your eyebrow. I mean, if you can avoid it anyway. Try not to do that. Because you're not trying to conceal those. You just want to clean up what you already got going on, y'all. Okay. Let's do that. Now, I do that. And then I do this. Just so they are where I want to be. Just clean them up a little bit, y'all. You know, and get them as even as you possibly can. Obviously, you'll see the difference, you know, once you do it. And then, shoot, I can't even see this way. My hand to jaw. Just outline your eyebrow. That's it, just to keep them neat, clean. This is, I can't see this way. I have to do all kinds of tricks and stuff. This is why I'm looking, I look in three, di four different mirrors, y'all. Because I can never see perfectly in one, okay? I think I got trick mirrors. All of them look different. They all say something completely different, okay? Every last one of them. And it's like, well, is this the uh, house of tricks or what? Y'all know when y'all used to go to the to the circus or to different carnivals and stuff, and they had those trick mirrors, something else. And it's like, y'all cannot be for real right now. This is exactly how I feel, okay? I'm just saying. Now, nah, that's clean. Obviously, that's not going to stay like that. Let's do this side the same way. Just try not to touch your hairs. You don't want it to look nude. Like you don't have any hair. Because that's exactly what it look like. I mean, you can easily go in there and clean it up. But I'm just saying. Alright. That's good. That's good. Nah, that's alright, y'all get this point out of here I don't like that not too pointy yeah I don't like that at all okay now I'm just gonna drag this out the concealer out y'all and then you can clean it up some more 
Just drag it on out, y'all. Drag it on out. Same way. I pull it over to the middle. So it can look a little more even by the time you're done with it. Okay. And then you do a little bit of that. I'm not done, obviously, with it. So, and then you drag this out too. Clean it up. I think this is really easy, y'all. It's super simple. I mean, once you get into it, you get focused. You know, you'd be like, dang, well, that looks nice. Or, mm, I don't really care for that too much. So, and then on top, drag it up. And then you can line it and clean it up, you know, as you go. Drag it out. Okay. And it just, it looks so clean and neat, you know, when you do it like that. Now, what is this I'm looking at right here? A hair. I might have to pluck that little hair. It's not cooperating. I don't know how much I'm appreciating it, but it is what it is. Okay. Same thing on this side, y'all. Drag it up. Drag it out away from your brow. And it may look it may look a little weird now. You're like, oh, it's two different shades. It's not gonna stay like that. I promise everything is gonna blend the way that it's supposed to. I promise. Okay, so that's that. Now, where are we going? Let me see. How do I look? Do I like this? Do I like this, y'all? I don't know. I think I can do a little bit more over here. See, this always look big, this side. So, take that up a little more. And then bring it down some right here. Just clean it. Let's see how is that this side still look thicker i don't know what it is about this i think my right brow is naturally thicker than my left anyway so it's annoying i swear it is but what you gonna do I'm just trying to make it a little smaller, y'all. Just a little bit. It's annoying. But, anywho. It is what it is. That looks a little, a little better. But right through here is thicker than over here. I don't want my eyebrows super, super thick. This is the reason why I started cutting them in the first place. My friend told me when we were kids that I was going to start growing uh, rabbits in my eyebrows because they were so thick. But the good thing about them now, you can play with them. And I don't mind, okay? Now, that's a little better, right? That's better, y'all? Okay, I want to try to hurry up and get through with this. This video going to be long. About a half hour. Maybe a little over a half hour. But, is that better? Does that look better, y'all? Look a little bit better to me. So, let's get rid of this point. I don't want those points there. Now, there we go. That's better. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to do a nude shadow, y'all. I'm not doing anything dramatic. So, let's see. Let's do... Um, I'm going to do this color right here, y'all. 
I always use this anyway for some reason. I just, I really like it. You don't want to go over the top. You're not doing nothing too much. It's simple. Super simple, y'all. <sighs> and I appreciate it. Believe me, I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see. A little bit of pop, but nothing, you know, over the top crazy, y'all. I appreciate it. <laughs> I definitely do. All right. Just a little bit of pop. And then, you know, I put the concealer up here. I could tap this and do a little bit more, but I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with that in just a minute, y'all. Okay, so I got my... Now, this is an eyeshadow. This is a shimmering eyeshadow, y'all. A shimmering eyeshadow, y'all. But I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing with that. I'm definitely using it, okay? <sighs> I cannot believe I didn't put the oil on first. But it is what it is. What you going to do? Okay, so this is the eyeshadow, y'all. Now, what I do is I'm going to drag this. I like the shimmer that it has. It's a little bit of of a light glow I appreciate it but it's not so dramatic okay it's just not and I appreciate it and I always go from the end of my sh my um, under brow liner from there and I come right at the top of my cheekbone so it's on top of my cheekbone i have chunky jaws y'all so and then i come down to almost the corner of my nose okay so about right here y'all and it's gonna be cute i do that i do this like i said i like the glow and I like the fact that, you know, once you get everything on, all your makeup and you use this, it make you look like you have a, like just a perfect tan. You know, that's just to me, y'all. Just to me. And obviously, you're going to come straight down your nose. And if y'all are beginners, I am. I mean, for full face makeup anyway. Uh, not makeup period before a full face if y'all beginners don't be thinking that you can do this you can absolutely do it be like dang well I like the look I just don't know how to do it you it's simple you can absolutely do this uh oh I need to charge my phone you can absolutely do this okay can I do this And my cheeks. I mean, my cheek. Ooh, my chin. I know it's still early, but good lord. And my chin. Okay. Now I want to go back up here. I want a little bit lower. Just a little. Now. For some reason, my left is always a little bit higher than the right. I don't know why it's like y'all. I think they y'all the same, ain't y'all? Same cheek. Okay, y'all. Y'all, here we go. I don't want to keep holding y'all up. Y'all might have something else y'all want to do. I just do use my finger. To do it, I think I get a better experience this way. I'm kind of heavy-handed with the brush. So, I did Bring this on in. I like to do my whole knob. And then just straight up. It's super simple, y'all. Yeah, I 
I'll say that. It's a beautiful blend, y'all. I really like it. I enjoy it. Okay. And who knew that I was going to be doing all this? Like I said, I've always liked it. And I always paid attention to who had what or who was doing what. And even under the eye just a little bit, y'all. You know. I remember one time, one of my friends, we were getting ready to go out. I think I told y'all this before. And uh, she saw my makeup, and instead of saying, you know, I mean, you see me on a regular basis. And instead of saying, um, you know, can you do my makeup and just leave it at that? I was like, yeah, of course I can. And she said, had the nerve to say, Oh, you're not going to have me looking like a clown, are you? I said, do I look like a clown? Because, again, that was, it's a compliment and an insult at the same time. It's like, how you doing both? That's crazy. Why would you say that to somebody? But, for whatever reason, you couldn't just say, oh, your makeup looks nice. How can you do mine like that? I mean, it wasn't going to be exactly like mine. Now, we know this, but... Instead of just saying, oh, can you do my makeup? And I like how you do yours. Can you do mine like that? And been done, you got to do all the extra stuff. Okay. Didn't really appreciate it. Let me see where we at, y'all. How y'all like that? That look all right? Let me see. Let me go back in here. Gives you the illusion like you 